Get me out of these fucking right, handcuffs, down, you down, pricks! Man. You fucking pricks! Get me out of these handcuffs! Pricks! Get me out of... He's spitting, Dan. You got spit Just stop Dan. spitting. Just calm down. You just need right, to calm down, okay? Fuck calm off. Down. No, fuck off. Okay. Fucking dickhead. Right, come on. We need to get fucking... Get a real job. If they were spitting, the guard would be put on them. They would be warned. We will say to people, we don't want to put this on you. This is a last resort, but if you continue your behaviour, we'll use, you will use this piece of kit. Um, it's to keep the officers safe um, and to keep the detained person under control. As you can see, it's, it's incredibly light. Um, there's an area inside that, you, if you can hear the noise, it just prevents the spittle going through the guard. Um, there's nothing sharp. It's easy to remove. Um, and really importantly, we take this off as soon as we can. Well, spit guards can be controversial. I think it's important the public and I see how they're used. I make sure the policies are in place and they're used only very sparingly and wisely. Okay, let's get him out. If someone's arrested on the street, the officer will make a call into Compass House, the custody suite, and describe the circumstances of the arrest, and that would include whether they were violent, whether they were spitting, or any other circumstances that the custody sergeant would need to know when booking them in. So this chap's been arrested for uh, being drunk and disorderly in Stroud High Street. Uh, he's been abusive from the start. Not going to get any details from him. As he's come out of the van, he started spitting, so uh, we've got the spit of it on. OK. The film is here so the public can actually see what happens. It's realistic, so when people are taken into custody who are aggressive, violent and spitting officers, this is what will happen to them. If I want to, I will, yeah. I want it to be as transparent and open as possible so the public have a pretty good idea of what happens inside this building, be they just the public or even a potential offender. It's really, really important. We don't want to leave this spit guard on our detained person. So when they come in, we'll try to de-escalate the situation and we will say things like, we don't want to keep this on you. Are you going to stop your behaviour? Are you going to calm down? And that's part of our risk assessment that we would do with anyone. And of course, we'll look to remove that guard at the earliest opportunity. I am satisfied that the Chief Constable looked at this the right policies are in place now. Now I'd prefer they weren't used, but I'd prefer people wouldn't actually spit at officers in the first place. So they have a place, uh, as long as they're used proportionately and sensibly, um, I think that's a matter for the Chief Constable to decide, and I support him in that. We've uh, liaised with other forces that have already um, used spit guards. We've got policies, we've got procedures, we've got guidance and um, training in place. So really, really thorough thought process on, on how this is deployed and used in order to keep our officers safe, but really important to keep the person that's detained safe. It, it is unfortunate we live in a world where people do abuse our police. They spit at them, can be exceedingly violent. And I think there is a place for spit guards, provided the policies are in place. So just, just do it, just do it. I think it's come to this because we realise that it's unacceptable for people to spit at people, whether that's a member of the public on the street or someone spitting at an officer, and it's doing the right thing to keep our officers safe. You fucking pricks!